joining me at Laura Houston Art. Tonight I just wanted to do a little bit of show and tell real quick about a couple of paintings that I got from some amazing artists. The first one, if you can see, this was from Shelly Anderson Art. She actually did my flower pop on this heart. I want to bring it up so you can see the details in this flower. Oh my goodness, I just love this very precious thank you so so much she did an amazing job Shelly I'm gonna link her channel below make sure you check out her work I wanted to do a little show and tell real quick and show you the print that I purchased from Chris Jessic if you haven't checked out her channel and her work I'll put her link below but this is called deep sleep and she was selling prints from a paint pour and embellishment that she did. I guess this is really way more than an, an embellishment. I am in love with this painting. Look at the details. She is an amazing artist. I just wanted to share. Let's get started. Okay, I'm sure you just saw Louise McKay art before me. Angela Bliss art will follow me tonight. Hey everybody, thank you for joining me at Lori Houston Art. We are going to do another bloom on glass tonight, and I am actually going to use a round frame. This is a 10.75 by 10.75 round, and um, we are just going to remove um, all of these little stickers here. And when I put the um, back on the frame, I remove these as well. And this just comes off very easy to um, this one is very tight but we're just going to move this around um, let me get some scissors and they pack this with a little bit of um, foam so that sits very tightly in this frame, which I love. You can see the foam. And the glass itself has a little bit of adhesive around the edge. So what I do I, I on these circles, on these rounds only, is I don't do anything with that. I just flip it over and we're gonna bloom on this side because this isn't gonna matter, this edge. And, um, you know, then I just save the, the mat here. And then again, it has this nice, big, thick styrofoam round. Over our colors, we're gonna start with color to go. And I believe the color is blue plate is the name that we are going to use for the pillow. So we're gonna start spreading that down. Let's get down to the glass. I will see you there. Okay, I am just spreading the pillow over my glass and you see my mess. I have been playing with blooms um, most of the day and um, again, this one just turned out beautiful. I really didn't think I was going to do a video on it, but I love the color palette. I actually did coasters with this too, so I apologize for the mess. This first color is TLP Waterfall and Amsterdam Turquoise Blue Mixed. I love the color that this brings out in the final piece. Second is TLP Sea Glass. We all love sea glass. Then we're going to go ahead and put down TLP Tail Feather. And these two colors together are amazing. We're going to go with um, Unicorn by TLP next. This has got such an iridescent shimmer. I, I love this color too. Um, then we're going to put... Um, I think this is the only color that is not uh, TLP, and this is um, Amsterdam Thalo Blue. And then we're going to go with TLP Sangria, one of my faves for sure. And then um, the next color is um, TLP Waterfall and Tail Feather Mixed right here. So this is a little bit of both of those together. So those are my colors. We've got a lot of piggies in this. 
Um, we do have that um, Amsterdam paint. I always like to have some sort of tube paint when I'm doing this. And I'm going to go ahead and I've decided to use a, um, putting a little bit more unicorn on there. And again, when I'm doing these, I, I like it to be kind of sporadic because when you're doing glass, putting it in a frame, you're not really looking for symmetrical or you're looking for more of just a, a, a really unique design that's going to look good in a frame. This is Amsterdam, uh, just the regular, um, is it Mars? It's either Mars or Lamp or Oxide. I think it's Oxide. Uh, and it's a three to one with your Australian Floetrol. So when you're blowing on the glass, it does move a little bit different than on the canvas. I just think it dries a little quicker on the glass. So you have to blow more down into the paint where on the canvas, I feel, or even tiles, I feel like I blow more on top of the paint. So I think I'm getting the feel for these glass frames. I've done so many. I have a bunch coming out. Um, I'm trying not to inundate you every week with <laughs> a bloom on glass. Um, and, you know, my flower pop is my signature. So I'll probably alternate these two. I have been back to some basics, doing some ring pours and want to do some Dutch pours. And, of course, my heart is the pearls. So I do have some other videos that will be coming out. Um, but for right now, I am very, very busy at work, so I want to utilize um, the videos that I already have in place. So I hope you're enjoying these blooms on glass because they're just so much fun to do. So I took my puffy and I blew in the center just to get some of those cells to pop for me. And um, I just am spinning a little bit gentle. I think I did very well with the amount of pillow on this one. So I don't have to spin it like a mad woman. I can do a little bit more of a gentle spin. And I'm really loving the composition here and how um, these TLPs are reacting together. They're, they're really amazing in this one. So let's sit back. I'm going to show you um, the end result here in a minute. We're going to put it back in the frame. I will see you there. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes From falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down I'm just playing around. Good thing I had the camera on. Look at these cells. That right there is um, tail feather. Well, let me go over. You can see it better. You can see tail feather and unicorn together. That's the waterfall. Look. Look at these cells. Oh my goodness. love this okay I hope you've enjoyed this video using round glass I will show you when it's dried and I have it in the frame look at these cells
to show you this edge. Wow. Oh my gosh, I hope this dries just like this. Okay, I appreciate you being here. I will sh be sure to show you the dried results. See you soon. Bye-bye. Okay, we are going to put some spray varnish on this one. It dried beautiful. We are going to put it back in that round frame with the foam, which I love. You can see that um, I put one coat of varnish on it. I may go over it with a second coat. Or if you don't like how it turned out with the varnish, you can always put resin on. But this one turned out great. It just glistens in the light. So right now I'm just putting my frame back on excuse me, the back. And I love it because someone can display it on the wall or on a desk. And there's really, you don't have to put a hanger on this. It's, it's already there for you and it's ready to go. I just am in love um, with the composition. I do wish that I had maybe put some brulee, caramel drizzle, or a different TLP that would bring out that the color of the frame. I have another color, another frame in this color. I'm going to do something similar, but I will bring some of that, um, you know, kind of uh, beige taupe color out. Okay, just a couple close-ups of those cells when they were um, in their uh, drying stages. It's just so beautiful. And here is the varnish on the wall. I do have a light that I shine over my paintings when I'm taking pictures so that you'll get the real light effect when um, you know you see it on the wall. So this was so much fun. I hope you enjoyed this bloom on a round glass and I look forward to seeing everybody. We appreciate you being here with us every week on our Rock and Pour. Let's head over to Angela Bliss Art. I will see you there.